Today's challenge is a three minute AI challenge. First, meet Asia, who's gonna be drawing in Procreate today. Karina, that's me, is going to be running generative AI against Asia. Today it is AI versus Asia. We have three minutes for today's drawing challenge. Here are the challenge rules. We have three minutes and AI has to produce a mushroom at the same amount of time as Asia is going to draw a mushroom. You ready? This time, instead of using a phone, we're just gonna use a porcupine timer. And that way you can hear it ding. But three minutes is short. We learned from our swirl lesson that 10 minutes was too long, that both yeah. of us could do it much faster. So we're gonna see how much faster we can be with this challenge. I think I can do it. I think you can too. And I think I'm gonna struggle with AI. <laughs> but let's try it anyway. We only get three minutes for this challenge. And then the theme today is mushrooms. We're trying to create a mushroom that can easily be broken into layers for a die cutting machine. A couple of things before we get started. We learned things from our first challenge. The first was that you guys couldn't see my screen very well. So Asia has hers on a prop, which makes it easier for you guys to see what she's actually drawn. I told you it was a porcupine. It's a mouse and it's old, but I think it's gonna work. Second of all, Asia, are you directly on, on, she's using Procreate, right? I'm just on my home screen. You so are on your home screen? It, yeah. I think I have to bring up uh, Firefly and log into it. This is like, as long as you're logged in. I'm not logged in. Minutes. Three minutes. I might be spending all my time just trying to log in. <laughs> and here's our little mouse bell to tell us when we're out of time. We are ready, so turn it on for three minutes and let's go. We both work fast. Asia is on her iPad working in Procreate. I'm working in Adobe Firefly trying to find the perfect mushroom for crafters. I like a lot of my options if I could just use them as is, but we want to use this for a die cutting machine, so I need to find something simpler. Meanwhile, Asia is powering away and drawing really quickly. And before we know it, three minutes is up. The two of us compare notes. That looks great. Three minutes, you guys. Three minute mushroom. It's stylized, has a look. I feel like you worked pretty fast. Yeah, I did. It was pretty easy. If I were to put a lot more detail into it, then it would have taken, taken me some a time. little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But this is a, you know, good for a cute, simple mushroom. Yeah, it's true. And you would use something textures. like this for like stylized for illustrations, little kids illustrations, or mm -hmm. like it reminds me of the hungry caterpillar kind of oh, the yeah. look of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I could simplify this and make a SVG out of it as well. Yeah. So it's like set up for that. All right, let's take a look at what I have. So it's awesome because it has complicated, but when Asia said she could turn hers into an SVG, I was like, yeah, that is not happening here. Do you know how painful it's gonna be to vectorize all of these and break them all out? Plus cutting that on a machine would be crap. So based on what we do for a living, this would actually be a really difficult piece. That being said, it's very cute. It has its own look, right? It's totally a different look, which is totally great. And actually these would work better than this main one, don't you think? Yeah, these little they're ones. Much more simple. So they're simple enough that I could actually build SVG files out of them or sticker. So well, I would say this we could use as a sticker, right? Yeah. So and if you like the styling of this, I think it would work pretty good. I got some pretty good ones. This is, I think this one's pretty. Yeah, that one's pretty cute. Yeah, I think that one's pretty cute. And then you can kind of see like where it gets a little bit like weird. Yeah, they're just floating. They're just floating in there, which is great. And then I think this is like the original one that it came up with. Oh, that is an interesting. Yeah, just like with the red in the middle of it. Yeah. Finally, here's the pro and con list for anyone who wants to understand how to use AI better. Okay, we're gonna go through pros and cons again. Okay, what are the pros? Pros are AI came up with it pretty fast mm -hmm. and gave us a different style would be maybe number two, like a different style. I mean, if you're someone who really wants like a realistic looking thing, maybe AI could create it for you if you're feeling like you could create it on your own. Fast style, what is the other pro of it? You had, you had a lot of options. I did, oh, put, put options. Um, you did spend more time like thinking and writing in stuff than actually drawing. So like if you had wrist problems, maybe writing would be a better choice to get started. But let's talk about the real cons here, which are similar to the previous challenge that we did. First one is, it was still a JPEG file, you guys. So production, yeah, it's cleanup time. Clean up, I Just hate cleanup. Three, you still need a designer. Hey guys, 
No design comes out of the job. You still need a designer to fix it. I hear all these people all the time talking about how like designers will maybe even go away because you can just get it from AI. Uh, clearly they've never used these files before because good luck blowing it up, putting it on a logo, do it, cause like none of them are vectorized and they're not cleaned up. So like there's all this production time that like there's, designers do. Yeah, there's always still gonna be some sort of, whether it's like production or something like that, where you're gonna have to fix the files or use the files for a certain project. Mm -hmm. Like what, even if you were to take this beautiful mushroom that we got on here and put it on packaging, somebody has to put it on the die line. Somebody has to place all of those things on there. Yeah. And AI is not there yet. AI is not there yet. I looked at Asia's and we could easily figure out ways to vectorize it because she drew it and if she had layered it out, I don't know if you did layer it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, she layered it out. You I had guys. all of the different layers. In the different colors. Guess what? Do you know how easy that is to vectorize? We can get it vectorized and turn into whatever she needs it to turn into. Mine, yeah, like I was like, this will never be an SVG That would file. be a very hard vectorization. I would probably spend at least, that's like a two hour type of job, whereas yeah. hers, the vectoring would take about five to 10 minutes to vectorize yeah. all of those layers. So anyone who tells you you can just create a line really quick from AI, it's a lie. Style, you're not in charge of your own style, you guys. So style is a pro because you get to like explore different styles with AI, but it's a huge con because if you wanna be a designer that suddenly has a brand or you wanna do certain things with that brand, you're not gonna get it from AI. It's gonna be really difficult. Okay, that's it, you guys. Bottom line is, AI is not taking your job and it only takes you three minutes to make a mushroom. And that's it for another great challenge. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see more fun videos about design or visit karitagardner.com for more information on my programs and designs.